I'm gonna prove to you how this is waterproof. <laughs> no! <laughs> Nothing. Didn't even feel it. <laughs> Ala! My name is Nuria and this is my sewing journey. For today, we have a project that I'm very, very, very excited about. Jacket season has started, okay? It's my favorite season of the year. Wearing jackets, wearing one and then another one on top, and then another one on top, and then another one on top, and then feeling like an onion. It's the best thing in the world. So for today's video, I have the first jacket because it's not fully winter, so I have two weeks until full winter comes and I want to make a puffy vest. Why, you'll wonder. Well, because I'm always cold and when I work from the office or from home, I always wear a jacket. I'm a huge fan of puffy jackets. I bought this jacket four years ago in Urban Outfitters. It's a puffy jacket. It's gorgeous. And last year I saw that they were making vests. And now you'll say, oh, Nuria, you could buy this vest. Yes, okay, you're right, but I'm crazy. And I like learning how to do things and I really, really, really want to make my own. And I can always buy it if it doesn't turn out very well. <laughs> I saw the ones in the shop and I wanted to make a pink one, but I didn't find pink fabric, okay? The only fabric I found was this red fabric is waterproof and I'm not very happy with it, but it's what I found. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and make a prototype with this fabric. If it turns out pretty, then I'll wear it. If it doesn't, then I'll see what I do. And it will be this one on the outside and then on the inside is this fabric. This is organic fleece cotton, I think it was called. It's very soft and very smooth and very uh, gorgeous, but it looks like a carpet. But then I went to another shop another day and I found this. Get ready. This is a waterproof Louis Vuitton dead stock fabric. I saw it and I had to buy it. They had it in this color and in a weird blue that didn't go well with my skin tone, so I bought this one. And I would like for the inside to have like a Sherpa fabric. This is my idea for now. I've looked at some patterns that I have. I don't have a vest pattern. I've seen some jacket patterns. So for now, I'm gonna use one of those and I'll bring you through the process and you can see what I ended up doing. Because right now, at this moment, I have no idea what I'm doing. prototype if I want to make this kind of pocket or this kind of pocket. This type of pocket is gonna have a zipper in the middle and I'm thinking to make it a bit thinner because this is a bit big and this one is just this kind of pocket. Maybe I'll add a button at the end but yeah I think I'm gonna post it on Instagram and see what people like and otherwise I'll just go with the one I want. to do for example the shoulders are too big so I'm gonna take some fabric in then I have the hoodie the inside you cannot see it because it's the same color the lining and the, the main fabric but I, one of these parts has to be from the main fabric instead of the lining and then I wanted to decide which kind of pocket I want to do like this or a zipper and I think I'm gonna go for the zipper because I asked my 
followers to vote on it on Instagram and they decided zipper, so that's what I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna make these changes, I'm gonna attach the inside and then I'm gonna decide some more little things. It's the end of the year Everywhere on TV Couples and Christmas trees Gift wrapping and cheer Just the worst time to be with a someone special Attaching the inside, you can see we have a pocket here, we have a pocket here, everything lined up. And now what I want to do is the final touches, like attaching the armholes to the main one, and then also attaching this down. A problem I had is that the inside fabric is heavier than the outside one, so it ended up being bigger so i'll have to fix that i'll do some hand sewing and then it's gonna be done i have a jacket <laughs> Hello, welcome to the recap of the video i'm here because i'm using all the light i can get it gets dark pretty fast when i was editing the video i realized that i didn't tell you anything about the budding of the jacket so i'm gonna run you through what i did this was the prototype i tried different ways of adding the budding in this one you can see it's a bit thinner and it's flat and in this one i use a thicker budding when i say budding i mean this kind of fabric here and i use this thick budding and nothing else and on the other side i use a thinner budding but i use this fluffy thing i don't know how it's called just filling uh, for the inside so it was it was nice <laughs> in the end i ended up going for this side with the filling because yeah it was like i was being hugged by a teddy bear so yeah that's the one i went for for the pockets, you already know the decision. I asked on my Instagram if I should go for just a normal pocket or for a zipper pocket and you all guys said zipper, so that's what I went for. And then on the hood, I tried also both buttings, the thicker one or the thinner one. I'm not a big fan of hoods, so I decided to go for the thinner one because otherwise it's just too much. Overall, I have to say I'm glad I made a prototype because I made a lot of mistakes and I could fix them when I was doing the real thing. This is the final product. I'm gonna put a video later to show you all the details, but for now, this is the hood, the pockets. You can see they have the zipper here and then the inside.
I'm very happy how it turned out. There are a couple of things that I'm not that happy about. For example, my hand sewing. This one, I finished it by hand and it's not my best work, but I did what I could. Another thing I didn't like, these zippers, I'm never gonna do them again, or at least I'm not gonna do them for a while because it was a nightmare. You can see here, I, the finishes are not the best because I really didn't know how to attach them. One last remark is that the feeling that I used was the typical amigurumi or doll feeling and it's not warm at all. So what I'm gonna do whenever I have time, which might be never in my life, is to use the Louis Vuitton fabric that I showed you at the beginning of the project. And I'm gonna make the same one, but with a proper feeling, like the expensive one, you know. And then I'm not gonna put a hood. That's all for today. I'll show you a little montage now. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe and see you all guys next week. Yeah? Bye. Lazy Sunday mornings hiding under covers. I don't mind staying in with you. Play your favorite movie, laying right beside me I don't mind when it's just us two That corner coffee shop we like to go Late night walks with you to take me home With you I never feel alone